the forecast here is calling for some weather to come in tomorrow looks like it could be our first snowstorm of the year so we're gonna keep an eye out for that it looks the weather looks like it's uh, coming in now it's Friday afternoon and uh, you can definitely see that cloud cover over there so we're gonna pull into town here and keep an eye out for that first snow of the year the first 2023 23 24 season first snow coming in yeah it looks a little stormy out guys Definitely uh, some low moving clouds. It's about 63 degrees right now. But uh, I can see that storm moving in. Okay, so we got a little a little dusting last night you can see here up in the mountains got some uh, little snow on the ground this is up on Davidson just a little bit of higher elevation maybe out of town there just a little bit higher but you can see the snow kind of stuck so uh, Canyon Lodge is right up that way and we're here looking at this place here and we've got uh, these landings that are in very bad shape you can see the the damage here it's just and that's actually concrete um, they've done a concrete slab here which I'm thinking about deleting that because <clears throat> it's just adding a lot of unnecessary weight and I, I think I just want to have everything all the water and snow just fall through I this doesn't make sense to me and this is where everything's rotting is where they've got the concrete you can see here so basically that just created like a uh, a way to capture water and hold it. And uh, you can see there's a, a wooden post here on the corner that's already pretty much rotted away. So they replaced it with wood, but this is in really bad shape. So all the heavy iron is pretty good. If you look at all the uh the heavier gauge stuff is not too bad so i think our plan of attack would be cut out all the lightweight steel leave the main infrastructure of it so we got to do all three landing or one two three four landings total delete this concrete go back with a with a mesh top flush and then uh just redo all the lightweight railing and stuff and I think that's gonna be the trick on this one so we'll come up with a game plan and uh, see what we can do well we got the loader fired up gonna do some a uh, little bit of maintenance on it and then take it over to its winter home which will be over off the of tamarack there be uh, in our snow storage area over there that's where we'll be parking it for the winter so the weather's coming in just as a precaution we're gonna take it over I know we're not gonna get enough snow to use it but at least we'll have it over there where uh, where it goes for the snow season here All right, well, we've got the Ranger out, and today's the day that Tom Wason and his family are coming to pick this thing up. They got back to Mammoth this weekend, finally, so we got it all set up out here in the front, and they're going to make their way over to the house shortly, and we're going to present this thing to them. I'll tell you. 
Winter is moving in on us. It has cooled off quite a bit and uh, you can see the wind's blowing and it's just a mess. All right, so we got Tom here. He's our grand prize winner of the Polaris Ranger. And uh, <clears throat> unbelievable because he actually came out the very last day of that event and was just out there towards the end of the day with us. Ended up picking up a few things from the booth and lo and behold, the next day when we ran the, uh, we ran the generator, Tom's name came up. So Tom's here up in Mammoth and uh, he's got a home up here and we're just glad, uh, we're really glad Tom got this thing and we're gonna get him out. Let him take it for a little test spin and see what see what he thinks about it. You could just unbuckle it there. Uh, you, uh, just to fire it up. And all the way forward. Tom's son, and he's gonna take it for the maiden voyage here. Okay. I just gave Tom the rundown. Have you ever run one of these? I've never. Okay, we'll hop on in. So it's actually you're in gear now. Yeah. And uh, that's forward all the way. Gas brake, it's just automatic, and um, it's got power steering, all that. So yeah, yeah. just uh, like anything else, just gas and brake. Give her a run and. Uh, Let's see how it does, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here, So Charlie's never driven a Ranger before, it's pretty cool. Hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> Gonna take it for the main voyage with Tom. Boy, that weather moved in, I'll tell you. Yeah. That'll work. I'm just. Oh, it looks like he's got it all figured out. That was a fast learning curve. <laughs> Things got some power, huh? Yeah. It'll go. Sweet. Alrighty guys, so that was a uh, fun Saturday morning. We got to uh, finally get Tom his giveaway and it's been a couple weeks in the making here because he <clears throat> he has a house here in Mammoth but he's been uh, he also lives down south as well so finally got him up here was glad to do that handoff with him and um, very excited to see that family get that machine so on to the next and uh, today we are spending a little time Dan and I have been moving some of the equipment and things like that um we've got our two skid steers over here at the house and we're all set up to we're gonna get them all cleaned up and ready for the blowers to go on because as you can see behind me winter is working its way in and uh it's not going to be long before winter's here. Now we're going to head down to the shop. And we're going to talk to Dan. He's working on some of those uh, gas meter protectors. You can see I got the loader over here at Joe's place. That's going to be its home for the winter there. That's our snow storage area. So we got 
loader all ready to roll there, ready to move some snow. And we are going to keep prepping. October is going to be our prep month. Just get everything, all of our machines greased, oiled, maintenanced. Everything's going to be in the best shape it can be so we can launch heavy on that first snow. All right, just got here to the shop. Looks like Brent's playing around with the crane a little bit. Got to get it rigged up for a job. These are the, the doors that we made for the tennis court. Those look pretty good. Where's he at? I don't know where the other one's at. Thought he had them both made up. These, I believe, are for the meter protection. Devices. Dan's been working on those too. Oh, get it over to the it's side like this? Not yeah. Stable enough. Oh, gotcha. But this is one that you can. So we're much, if you will.
That's good. Get some hang up. So by switching the ball out with this, we've upped our capacity from 9,000 to 27,000. So we went from a single line on that to three lines on that. about 33 degrees and I, I said earlier that it felt warmer it did feel warmer but this cloud cover has come in and it's definitely cooled things off okay we just made it over here to the airport and Sadie and Bud and I were waiting for Pat. He's gonna be here any minute. We're gonna, he's gonna take us out, look at some of these hangers, and come up with our game plan for a panel replacement next week. You can see those clouds coming our way. Said after lunch, basically through the rest of the day, we're probably going to see a decent amount of moisture. You can see the ground's still wet from what we've already received, so it's going to continue. So we've had a lot of issues here, so you can see... These screws have been added. Oh yeah, I did notice that I put screws on every high. Some of them it's, it's like this. Uh, it's, uh... See how they're not every high? Mm-hmm, every other. Yeah, I see every other this one. This is just on, the, on uh, where the, the seam. Yeah, where the lap is. Yeah, but... They're in the lap, so I guess it's holding this one to this one, I guess. I guess I did this. Is that still working? 
So here's one that we did a rescrew on. You can see all the new screws that we did do. But right here, we got holes with no screws. So obviously that's a huge problem. Same thing here. So anybody that's doing these rescrews, they need to understand that if we're pulling out a screw, same problem here. So if we take out a screw and we can't have a hole, we either have to have silicone or, you know, something sealing those holes. We can't, uh, can't leave them like that. Either there's got to be a screw in the hole or some kind of sealant. Um, that way we don't have any leaks. This hanger actually had some leaks though. He was just talking to the owner and it has had some leaks and it's one that we did. So we got to be real careful and make sure that everything is done like this. Either it has a screw or if it has a hole, it needs to have a dollop of the sealant. And we actually need to go through like anything we're working on and use that sealant on seams and any kind of, um, some of these panels have a couple of them. I've seen holes where something's hit them, a shovel. Uh, we just got to be vigilant checking those all right so we're trapped in so, the boom here so jordan moved this up but he didn't flip the switch to where we could operate it from the bucket so we're trapped go to the back and you see a control key and stuff so you should be there should be a a switch that can be flipped to where it's operating out of the bucket One's like purple and one's blue, maybe, or something. You see that? Yeah, well, she's <laughs> Bad. Buddy boy. Tell me that again. I'm gonna make you some money. Hello, everybody. All right, guys. So here we go. It's not really sticking, but uh, it's definitely clumping down. Then they tell the viewer, not me. 